Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this Corel file and also a photograph. They're trying to change the node where the node is starting. Especially with acrylic, you're going to get this bad spot and she doesn't want it right there. And I, I don't cut much of acrylic, but I think there's a way to get, get rid of that. So I thought I'd answer their question first. A uh, couple of things, I would always turn your cut lines to hairline red and just get cut. And then, now this is just my personal preference, but then that way you can tell the difference between a vector line. So if you take your shape tool and click on it, this is where it's starting right here with the arrow. This is an easy fix. She wanted on the top. So select that node or do that, just select the node you want to go to. Let's select that node and go right here and break curve apart. And then select it and join the two nodes. Now your starting point is right there at the top. Now, I wasn't going to do a video. Somebody just did a video exactly like this today. And I think I've got one. But also one thing you might want to consider when you're doing something like this, if you want the best way to do this would be to cut this inside circle out first, just in case if you cut this out and it drops just a hair, if your laser vector bed is wobbled or warped or got a, you know, a little bit of a bow to it, go to window, dockers, object manager, and right here, this curve is going to cut first. The laser starts and goes upward in cutting order. So this object is going to cut second. So you need to reverse those two. And all you have to do to do that is just take that curve and just gently put it up there. So now this is on top. And this is going to be your first cut. And it'll work pretty good to you for you. And also, I guess just while I'm thinking about this, if you were going to cut out a lot of these, and I'm thinking she maybe is, is would be to take it and group it all together, control G and control D and make a duplicate of it. And also, you, I don't know, it's just personal preference. I can't stand my um, setting being in quarter and quarter. I need, to me, a zero, zero. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just change it right now. So whenever I open someone else's file, I get their, what they're looking at. So I'm going to go control D and then I'm going to mirror this thing and I'm going to just move it up. So if you were going to cut out a lot of these, your starting and stopping points are right there together. Now you might waste a little more material, material, but you could always do this and then stair step them across the page. You could probably get more in the page this way anyway. And it's going to start cutting right there. And then start here and finish there. And then when it does that, it just has to move over here. It doesn't have to, if we did it the other way, and you had them stacked in here like this, it's moving across here. Now, it's going to have to move across there anyway. But every other one, it won't have to. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.